Hey, hey, I'm Erin Soderberg Downing. I am the author of the Puppy Pirates chapter book series. I'm going to read you the first chapter from Puppy Pirates, Pug versus Pug. Chapter one, The Last Dinghy. Anchors away, barked Captain Redbeard. Load our loot into dinghies, shake the sand off your fur. It's time for me crew to set sail. Puppies of all shapes and sizes raced across a sandy beach. They shook their bodies, scratched their ears, and rinsed their paws in salty ocean water. Scratch hard, pups. Leave all the bugs here on shore, Redbeard ordered. Then he chuckled and added, all the pugs, too. Captain Redbeard's puppy pirate crew had spent the morning searching for buried treasure on a small island in the middle of the sea. They dug up three gold chests filled with tasty bones, then they celebrated with an afternoon of swimming, chasing, and running. But now it was time to get back to their ship. Quickly, Redbeard barked as pups climbed into the small wooden boats that would return them to their home on the water. We must get back to the salty bone at once. The sun is sinking into the sea. When the sun goes underwater, that means night is here. Wally, a soft golden retriever puppy, cocked his head. Does the sun really go underwater, sir? Ay, ay, aroo, Captain Redbeard barked. I've been a sailor for many years, little Walty. Every night, without fail, the sun plops into the ocean. Then it pops back up on the other side of the world the next morning. The gruff terrier lowered his voice and said, This here is a fact, pup. The sun hides underwater at night and lights up the deep sea world. Wally wasn't sure this was true. Sometimes Captain Redbeard mixed up his words and facts, but Wally didn't like to argue with his captain. Wally didn't like to argue with anyone because it was no fun when other pups were upset with him. He was the happiest when everyone got along. It's high time we set off on our next adventure, Captain Redbeard said. He jumped into a dinghy just as it set off toward the salty bone. Row carefully through these waters, the captain warned his crew. There are sharp rocks and coral reefs hidden just below the ocean's surface. Keep a close lookout. Wally jumped into the last dinghy. Old Salt, a wise, peg-legged Bernese mountain dog, was curled up at the front of the little boat. Wally's best mate, a human boy named Henry, hopped in and grabbed the oars. Henry pointed at the pink and gold streaked sky. In case you were wondering, mates, a pink sky at night is a sailor's delight. It means good weather is ahead. And I've heard a pink sky in the morning means that sailors should take warning, Wally said, because storms are coming. Is that legend true, Old Salt? Old Salt glanced at the pink sky. Then he pointed his paw at a bank of storm clouds gathering on the horizon. I guess we'll find out, won't we? Henry was about to dip the oars into the water and push away from land when Captain Redbeard barked, Avast! Wally's ears pricked. He could hear a worried tone in his captain's voice. I forgot something, Redbeard called out. This wasn't a surprise. The captain forgot lots of things. I sent Curly, Wayne, and the pugs into the woods to gather coconuts. Little Walty, go fetch the last of our crew and help them carry, tre carry the treats. He nodded toward the trees. Aye, aye, Captain, Wally barked back. He jumped out of the dinghy and raced across the sand. Henry chased after him, calling, Wait up, mate, wait for me. Better hustle, little Wally, the captain howled from way offshore. He squinted at the sun, which was sinking into the sea. The sun is almost all wet, and the waters around this island are too rocky to row through after dark. Wally and Henry ran as fast as their legs could go. The jungle forest was bright and cheerful during the day, but now that it was getting dark, Wally noticed that the trees cast spooky shadows. Not far off, Wally could hear the pug sisters yipping at each other. Wally zipped through the brush. He burst into a clearing. The grassy open space was lined with beautiful palm trees that hung heavy with coconuts. Wally had tasted coconut a few times before. The meat was sweet and creamy, but the outside had funny little hairs that tickled his lips. Wally knew never to eat too much coconut because that meant tummy trouble. On one side of the clearing, Curly and Wayne were working together. Curly was the Salty Bone's first mate. Wayne the Great Dane was the biggest pup on their crew. Curly and Wayne made a perfect coconut picking team. When Curly stood on Wayne's back, she could reach the lowest coconuts on the trees. The pair had filled nearly four rolling crates to bring back to their ship. 
Piggly and Pugly hadn't filled a single crate. Instead, the pugs had found a way to make mischief. Wally, Piggly yelped. Want to try our coconut collector? Look, they made a trampoline, Henry exclaimed. Using ropes twisted around a cluster of springy branches, the two little pugs had created a bouncy platform. They were taking turns, jumping high into the air. It's time to get back to the ship, Wally barked to his crewmates. Captain says we have to hurry. Curly and Wayne howled to show they had heard him, but the pugs were yapping too loudly to hear the orders. Piggly soared into the air, snagged a coconut, and tossed it to the ground. Then Pugly took her turn. They jumped and tossed over and over again. Coconuts rolled across the ground. Piggly announced that she could jump the highest. Pugly yipped that she could toss the farthest. Piggly said she was best at breaking the coconuts when she tossed them. Pugly claimed she was best at hitting a target. Hey, Pugs, Wally shouted. The tree's shadows were growing longer and darker by the minute. We really need to go or we'll be stranded. One last jump, Piggly snorted. She barked to her sister, me, then you. At the same time, Pugly howled, me, then you. The two pugs jumped high into the air together. They crashed into each other. They thrashed, they snarled, and then they fell. Down, down, down. Kerplop, the two chubby pugs tumbled into Curly and Wayne's crates, sending hundreds of furry fruits flying. Puppy Pirates, Pug versus Pug.